Who's a bop? Give me top top as I load the wop. Man, these niggas say I'm fly, but to her, I'm God. I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's me, aka I'm faded. And I'm back with Tutorial Tuesday, number one. And I will be doing every other week Tutorial Tuesday, then Topic Tuesday, and so on. It was requested a few times in the comment section. And I decided to come up with that conclusion. So let's get into the tutorial. And so in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to do shot and dunk syncing. And, you know, just how to create an overall nice flow in a mixtape. So I decided to name the series actually Tutorial Tuesday, How to Edit a Nice Mixtape. And I will be showing you some really good things on how to, you know, how, how, to, how to make a mixtape look really good. And I think this is really the main part of how to make a mixtape look, look good is, you know, the flow of the edit and the syncing and the bass dropping. And, uh, you know, just things like that. And let's get into the tutorial. But first, I'm going to show you an example of what I am talking about. So here it is. As you can see, when the drop of the song came, you know, I had, I put the text on the word, it said Jingle Bell, and it was a really nice sync that happened. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today. So now what I want you to do is open up your Sony Vegas, import your clip and your audio. All right, so when you have your, your music and your clip, just drag it in. So when you drag in your clip, you're gonna have two separate audios. It's the game audio and the music audio. So you just click on the video, hit the U key, and when you hit the U key, it allows you to separate the audio from the video. So now you can just delete the audio, hit the delete button, drag it back, and there you go. So now I'm just going to uh, hurry up and split to where the play actually happens, because, you know, this was actually a long play. And this isn't a part of the, of the tutorial. You can actually, you know, you don't have to pay attention to this. Sorry guys, I forgot this was a long clip. Alright, this should be cool. Yep. Alright, so now what you want to do is right click on the video. And I'm going to try to make the tutorial as fast as possible. So I don't want it to go over five minutes. So we're going to really have to start, you know, try to speed things up. But I will explain it really good. So now what you want to do is right click on the video. Go to properties. Maintain aspect ratio. I want you to uncheck that. And then check disable resample. Hit OK. Now what you want to do is click this button right here, the event pan crop button. Drag it in so the rest of the black bars can be taken in. And you always want to know how to take your black bars off the video. That is how you do it. All right, so now that you have everything, all the everything cropped in and everything set up, now what you want to do is scroll to the point of the video where the dunk or the shot, you know, hits the hits the net or the rim. So in my video, just about right there is where he, as you can see, the balls in the net and he dunks it in. Now what you want to do is hit the S button to split the video in half so that you can have that place marked for, you know, the place that you made the dunk. So now that you have the video split and everything, now what you want to do is play through your music and find the drop in the beat. What I mean the drop is if you heard in the, if you saw that Christmas make, I just used an example, it's like Jingle Bell and it says boom. And that's what I mean by the drop. So just play your music, and wh wherever the drop is, you want to hit the M key, just like this. All right, so the drop in my beat happened, and I really I know this song really well, so I knew it on my first try. You might have to, you know, listen to your song once or twice to do it. So that's where I have my drop beat. I have my marker. I have my split. My, my clip split. So now what you want to do is go to the second splitted clip right here and drag it after the marker so that it can be, you know, stuck on and lined up to the marker. So now that you have that right there, what you want to do is you don't want to leave all this black space in the middle right here. So now what you want to do is go to the end of the video of this one right here, hold the control button and drag it to the beginning of the marker. And there it is. That is how you split a clip. I'm going to pause the video, pre-render it, and show you what it looks like. 
Okay, and I am back, and I'm gonna show you what the sink looks like. Alright, so that's nice and synced up, and yeah, as you can see, the clip goes slow all the way until I dunk the basket. So now that I, you got the sink already, the easy part comes in, and you just want to drag in the base. I will be linking this in the description so you guys can have it. So I like to do this with my dunks. Just put a base sound so that they know that you know the dunk actually happened. So you just want to line it up where the sh where the base happened, where you dunked it at, and that should be right there on the marker. And now I'm gonna. And now what you want to do is pull the volume slider all the way up to 12. And I'm going to pre-render this one more time. All right, so I have my video pre-rendered. And now I'm going to show you what the final clip looks like. All right, now you heard that nice bass sound. And everything was synced up. So that is how you sync shots and dunks to the music in Sony Vegas. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for the mixtape, the Angelo Walls mixtape that is about to drop this Thursday. And once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.